Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here at what in the world? What? Did somebody go out in my yard and dig up a bunch of rocks and lay on my type my display here? What is this? Just a bunch of rocks. I mean what? It's gonna bring gold at least that could have brought the real well, I don't know what that Oh, I know what we got going here. Rock Lords! That's what we've got going on here, Rock Lords. Hey guys, again, Thunderhound369, and today we're going to be taking a lack, a, a lack, la, 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 a look at some Rock Lords that I picked up last year, just after I'd started on uh, eBay, picked these guys up fairly cheap, I think Nugget here was maybe a dollar or so wasn't very much a piece I think Boulder here was the cheap the highest at three dollars picked these guys up from Toy Stable uh, so what little bit of information I found on these guys Rock Lords was a spin-off toy line to the GoBots from Tonka in 1986 after the movie GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords which was a fairly decent movie, I will admit. I did like watching it. You can find clips of it here on YouTube. You know, there may be a few other places out there that you might be able to find the entire movie in its entire entire length. But if you'll check out, just type in Battle of the GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords, I'm pretty sure you can find the movie in clips here on YouTube somewhere. Uh, they were transforming rocks that came with weapons such as axes, guns, and swords. None of mine were complete, so I had no guns, no weapons, no nothing. There were vehicles, which I don't have any. They were imported from the Bandai's Machine Robo Ganseki Jojin. Is that how that's pronounced? Subline. Like other transforming toys, there were good guys and bad guys. The tagline associated with these toys was powerful living rocks. Rock Lords was not very successful. Of course, Transformers, as we all know, was getting the better sales. But Rock Lords was able to last for at least three seasons. There were unreleased Rock Lords toys, such as the Stonehead playset and Crackpot in meteorite colors. And there were also Jewel Lords, which I don't have any of those. We'll take a look at uh, we'll get these guys out of the way here. We'll go one at a time. We'll take a look at Boulder. Boulder was the leader of the group of the good guys. Um, in Japan, Boulder was known as uh, Battle Rock, and his rock type is Tungsten. He's got a nice little cracks and crevices all over him here and uh, a little bit of a biography is brave and wise with an awesome physique Boulder leads the defense of Cortex against Magmar's villainous plots Boulder has rallied the remaining three kingdoms the remaining three kingdoms of the planet under his leadership his fiery temper strikes fear into friend and foe alike in the heart of the battle, he scatters enemies with stun gun blasts and zaps them with his power sword, which I do not have. And it's been a while since I've tinkered around with these guys, so transformation on them is pretty simple. Just unfold Boulder's legs, flip out his feet, spin him around. As you can tell, he's loose from over the years. Epic head reveal. Bring out his arms. And there you have Boulder in his. I don't know if you can call it a robot mode, but in his other mode. There he is. 
articulation. His head will move a little bit. Nice little head, red helmet, brown face. Does have some articulation. Arm will not go back. Well, there he goes. If you get them just right, they will go all the way around. Out and in. Does have an elbow joint. No waist. Legs will go back. Knee joint. And somewhat of a foot joint. So there's Boulder. We'll bring Nugget in real quick. And uh, Nugget was also known as Mecha Rock in Japan. And he is uh, gold. Who would have thought? And as you can see, he was supposed to be a nice little shiny chrome gold color, but as you can see over the years, mine's kind of faded and chipped off and worn. So he's been well played with, you can tell. Though, we'll go ahead and transform him real quick if I can remember how. Like I said, it's been a while since I've tinkered around with these little fellas. Just unfold it legs here and he is quite loose as you can tell he's the loosest one of the group as you can tell his shoulder pads nothing wants to stay in place he does have good good articulation bends at the elbow out and in shoulder joint but due to the shoulder things they will not go 360 I can't get in there to tell if his head will move or not but it's got a nice little robot head in there And not much in the way of leg movement on Nugget here. He's got this little backpack that opens up for a rocket rocket pack. Like I said, he's so loose, nothing stays open on him. But there he is. We'll move on to, I think this one is Granite, I think. And Granite is, well, he's granite. Screw holes, you can see screws about everywhere. But he's got nice little cracks and crevices on him here as well, just like boulder and nugget. And he's just a simple gray plastic. And in Japan he was also known as uh, Guts Rock. You transform him, pull the legs down, I always get confused because I don't know which way is it. Just open his. He's got kind of like the Generation One Rumble and Frenzy type transformation. So look, there's his head. Does his? Yeah, his feet pivot back. I got his legs the wrong direction, so they go this way. As you can tell, everything on this guy's loose as well from over the years in this form granite looks more like a uh, gorilla than he does anything but he's got a nice little head sculpt gray blue red eyes on the logo full 360 got this sideways elbow joint no hip legs will come out to the side will rotate all the way around and does have a good knee joint and an ankle pivot due to his transformation. Now you have a look at granite. Take him out to the side. And now we have Tombstone, also known as Geiger Rock. And his rock type is Quartz. He's one of the evil rock lords. I need to get Magmar to go with these guys, but I'm in no big hurry for him. You can see he's got nice little rocky crevices all over him as well. You transform him, you just unfold the legs, or what will become the legs. Swing the side panels out to reveal his arms. Straighten those out. Flip up his head. 
you can see he's got quite a different head design than the rest of them. He looks more like a lizard type design. More of a snake style with the fangs, yellow eye visor, shoulders, will not go 360 on the arms, will go in and out. It's got that weird sideways elbow joint. No waist. Legs will go back, out, out to the side. It does have a knee joint. There you have tombstone. Set him out to the side. And we'll bring in sticks and stones. And his, he was also known as Double Rock in Japan. His rock type is Anthracite, or Coal and Magnetite. A nice little look at him here. Transform this guy's sample. Spin the sides down. Wrong direction. Bring the arms out to the sides. This one gets stuck, so I have to be a little bit careful with it. There we go. And as you can see, he's a little two-headed rock monster, rock creature. Got the nice little two-headed sculpt in there. Red, be beady red eyes and red mouths with the fangs. His arms will go full 360 at the shoulder. No in and out. No elbow joint, but they will turn so slightly at the elbow. Legs will go forward and back. No out. Well, a little bit out and in due to there's a spring in here for him. Pivot at the knee. Well, swivel at the knee. And a little bit of an ankle joint but not a big deal let's see if we can get everybody brought back in here if everybody will stand for me bring the camera up a little bit turn that off getting too much of a glare nugget kind of pitiful looking There you have all five, the five rock lords that I have in my collection. Um, if you're at all into the GoBots or rock lords or anything like that, I can suggest uh, eBay. You get fairly decent prices on these guys on eBay, but if you want to, you can go to, uh, I'll leave the link to toystable.com below. Go there, check them out. They've got real good prices on these guys. Matter of fact, they've got really good prices on pretty much all your 80s toys from Mask to Centurions to Rock Lords and some G1 Transformers and vintage G.I. Joes as well. So I suggest checking them out. So again, if you like what you've seen here, go. If you're at all interested in them, if you like transforming toys, anything that transforms, Hey, check these guys out. So there's my look at, uh, you know, was, like I said, if you want to, pick them up. If not, it's no big deal. And, uh, but there you have it, guys. I'm Thunderhound369. This has been my look at uh, the Rock Lords from Tonka. I hope everybody's enjoyed the video. I want to thank everybody for watching it. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See y'all.